MC and welcome one last time for this weird year to a shed as an introduction to a video and I've got a couple of stats for you to end the year on. How many car shows do you think that I attended in 2020? So that's meets and shows, not including the drive-by car shows. Put your guesses in the comments below so you can all see each other's guesses. But first, drive-by car shows, I attended 11 of them. But yes, car meets, I attended 97. I didn't quite get to 100. Last year I got over 100, about 103. But all things considered, I had two or maybe three months of no car shows whatsoever and I still managed to attend 97. That's almost two every week. So if you want to be as mad as I am, carhuddle.com is the place for you for next year. So carhuddle.com, as I've mentioned in previous videos, is the place to go to to find out about all of the car shows in the UK and worldwide. And it's up to you, as fans of the page, to add your own events. So the more of us that use Carhuddle, the more events can be added. So this video is bringing a bit more of a limelight to Carhuddle and for the potential that it has to allow everyone to find out about these shows that I go to and more. So a lot of the ones I go to are down in the south. There's ones being added in the north of the country and in America, I've seen a few in Australia and in Europe as well. And the more people that use carhuddle.com, there's a link in the description below, the more events can be added and the more events we can all go to because the more events the better. And maybe you can go to almost a hundred events in a year. Also I am wearing my Everyone Loves a White Chaser t-shirt available here. So on Car Huddle, I've got my account. You can add your own cars as part of the garage feature. Now previously, I have been adding events myself for other people because I don't really host events other than drive-by car shows. However, drive-by car shows will always be put on carhuddle.com. So if you want to create your own event, you can give it a short name, add a location, start and end date, a category. So we've got car meet, track day, auction, classic, modern, supercar, event description, convoy instructions. I know a lot of you you have less static meets than others so you can add convoy details and locations and even add the price of the event and whether it's a private event that you only want invites to be accepted for or if you want a specific car to attend or limited numbers which is very appropriate for at the moment so that was carhuddle.com and I'm now going back to a week where I couldn't find many car shows on so this was on a day that even on Car Huddle, there wasn't much on due to the year that we've just had. So I met up with a friend, his Instagram's here, who's got a few really nice cars, and we just went on a little drive, it's only a short video, to go go-casting, and I thought, well, I might as well film it for you. It was filmed back in the summer, I'm wearing a very loud shirt, and my hair's probably a bit different, so excuse that. There's leaves on the trees as well, and Oh, it was just better back then. So that will be today's video, but if you ever find yourself in a position that I was and you can't find any car shows to go to, Car Huddle is the place for you to go to, so I shall see you all there. Oh, I am overexposed. Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to a bush. Today we are spending the day with some supercars, so without further ado, we have a green Hurricane Performante Spider with yellow headlights, just manoeuvring in the sun, but don't worry, there will be more. So we have the Lamborghini Huracan Perfermente Spider, which is in a lovely shade of Verde Hermes, or to you and me, dark green. It's similar to British Racing Green, but a bit more olive in the colour, which matches the yellow headlights quite nicely. It's got the black Perfermante wheels with the classic stripe up the side and the Alcantara bucket seats inside. We've got lots of carbon going on, as with most Huracan Perfermantes, especially on the rear spoiler and diffuser. But I'm somewhat glossing over this car, because you may notice in the background we have another car in the same colour. This is an Aston Martin Vulcan in the the same colour as the Hurricane Performante. This is the Lamborghini paint code and we're going to spend the next few minutes priming it and getting it started for you guys. So it takes time, it is a race car, it is not road legal, it's got the white stripe livery around including pinstriping around the front mouth, it's got the yellow headlights as well which also match the Performante. Obviously it goes without saying these are both owned by the same lucky gentleman. I have been told it is quite the animal around track. Unfortunately to Today we will not be driving it because we do not have a racetrack to hand. We're just going to start it up, let it warm up a little bit because it hasn't been started in quite a while. And there you go. That is the almighty Aston Martin V12, a fully British car. It smells good too. So I'm going to have to shout a little bit, but check out all the carbon on that front splitter. As you come around the side skirts, you've got the vented heat shield around the side pipes of the exhaust. Whilst the car warms up, you'll notice he's gone for the 
two Mondeo V6s mated together. So that's what this began life as. Two Mondeo V6s and now it, it's a bit different to that. As we go around the side, it gets a little bit louder. The exhausts are directed slightly to the rear. We've got the very unique rear lights. They look like popsicle sticks. Very, very sizable carbon fiber diffuser with the pinstriping around it as well. We've even got a carbon ceramic Aston Martin logo badge on the back of the car and especially in the Verde Hermes colour. This is the only Aston Martin Vulcan in this colour. So you'll notice by the fact that I'm inside the car that I'm actually inside the car now. We have the absolutely proper race seats. This would not be legal on the road due to the side vision here. Take a look at the steering wheel, which essentially is the key for the car. We've got all the dials and buttons that you would expect. ABS, traction control, pit, a walkie-talkie button, and even headlights for your nighttime riding. We've got the fan, three modes, zero, one, and two, and two grab handles on the inside of the door, because one's not enough. We've got battery cut-offs, we've got even more lighting switches, and heating, and ventilation, and a hazard light switch as well. Wing mirror control, even though this one doesn't actually have wing mirrors currently. But as for carpeting, well, there isn't one. And take a look at these vents here. Imagine this, when you're driving along, on track, quite a warm day, you get a bit hot. What other part of your body is going to warm up that's not normally treated? Yes, these are for your gentleman's area, or gentle lady's area, for when it gets a bit sticky on track. But there is a little bit of colour detail inside the car. We've got some red contrasting with the green exterior, with a very long bonnet in front of you, the 7 litre V12. It's about 10 foot long, that bonnet. From a driver's point of view, there is absolutely no way you can see where the front of this car is, but that doesn't matter. It's a track car. We won't be touching that again. We've already started up and warmed it up nicely. Anyway, I'm going to hop out. It's not very easy, so I will catch up with you in a little bit. Your left leg out, in, out, and shake it all about. There we go. Yeah. Done it. But you'll notice the change of scenery. I'm now inside the Huracan, not the Vulcan, but we're going to head to go-karting, so I'll catch up with you on the route there. So we have two fewer cylinders than last time. This is obviously a V10. You all know the Huracan Performante. This one is the spider with the added benefit of an infinite amount of headroom and it feels a little bit faster than the coupe because you're all exposed to everything that's going on. So we are on our way to casting. There's a few nice roads. We're gonna get some sounds and some scenes. So enjoy whilst we drive down the road. karting place. We're going to have a few laps and then I'll get back to you a little bit later on in the evening and capture some exterior content of this car. So karting done, I didn't win and it's time to get some external shots of the Hurricane who has started up. That's a funny looking go kart. <laughs> Nighttime works better for flames.
But that was pretty much that. So we saw a nice orange glow from the exhaust. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow the owner here and myself here as well. But for now, thanks for watching.